So right before I get into the tutorial, I just want to quickly mention that Motion VFX, the sponsor of this video, is having a huge Black Friday sale right now on most of their Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. So go ahead and take a quick peek at what they have. I'll leave a link in the description down below to all the Black Friday deals they have going on right now. So in today's super easy and quick tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to export your animation or video with a transparent background. I know most of you are probably thinking, I don't really need to know how to do this or you won't ever have to use it. But trust me guys, this little tidbit will come in handy as it has for me when I'm making my tutorials. So first off, why would you export your animations with a transparent background? There are many reasons to do this, but let me tell you why I would do it. So basically for me, it saves me time, keeps all my files organized, and keeps all my video on my channel consistent. So instead of having to redo the animation over and over every time I start a new project, or having to redo or remake the logo animation every time I post a new tutorial, you can have it all ready in a folder like this, and just drag it onto your video whenever you need it. So here's how to easily do it. So say I want to create a lower thirds animation to use for all my tutorials. I want to use the same one and have it consistent every time. Before I would go into my plugin for every pop-up animation and recreate it. But now I have them all stored in the folder and just drop them in whenever I need that file. So I'm going to go to my text tab here with my plugins and I'll create one with this lower thirds YouTube pop-up from Motion VFX's MTuber plugin. I'll drag that to the timeline in a new project. Now I'm gonna go into the inspector tab and add in the missing drop zone photo. I imported this photo here earlier, so I'm gonna apply that and then resize it so that it fits properly in the circle. Okay, so now that animation is done. Usually it'll take me two to three minutes to create something like this every time I need it for a project. But by saving that animation with a transparent background, it'll just cut down that time needed to recreate it. So I'm going to export this by going to file, share and then export file then click on the settings and change format to video only and video codec to apple prores 4444 so this setting will save your animation with a transparent background as long as you don't have a clip behind it so say you want to import that lower thirds that we just created and put it on top of a clip on your timeline just drag it on top of the clip and then move it wherever you want using the transform tab here So let's do another one. This time I'll create an Instagram page pop-up in Motion VFX's M2 or 3. So it should be a similar shape to the smartphone. I'll click on the drop zone here in the inspector tab and drag in a screenshot that I did earlier of my Instagram page which was done on my phone. I'm going to resize it so it fits within that frame. Now I want to add some text popping out with my Instagram page name on it. I'll be using M Channel Modern for this one and use the social media lower thirds that they have available there. I'm going to customize it and change the logo and the name and then realign the two until I'm happy with how it's placed. And once I'm done, I'm just gonna save it the same way I did earlier. File, share, export file, and then settings, video only, and Apple ProRes 4444. So now whenever I need this, I can just drop it on top of any clip. So it's not really a mind blowing effect, but it's definitely a little thing that will come in handy at some point in one of your future projects. I'll see you guys in the next one.